Good morning, class. Today we're going to be doing combinations. How are we doing? Monday morning? Yeah. And are you happy because you're the senior class? Yeah. I like it the chant in the spirit rally. You guys were like, no more seniors. <laughs> because they're ready. And then that's a good chant. Why is it a good chant? Because we're leaving. Because, because we're leaving. leaving. Yes. Because oh, we're out. Well, and because the seniors never did that. It was but because other seniors. people can say it too. Like they can yeah, like, did, you, did you notice chant. that? Yeah. 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 Like, no more seniors. <laughs> well, like, you agree on something. We all in one point. Yeah. Body yeah. It's nice to agree on something. Oh okay, I'm going to ask you something and repeat after me. Yay leg! Yay leg! <laughs> we have a uh, knee, sur knee, su yeah. <laughs> Don't hold up. knee surgery leg here in the front, so you're a trooper. Welcome back. First day back. Woo! Woo! Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Feel good? Yeah. Okay. I feel high, I feel high, I feel So let's jump into it. Combinations. Please give me three names. Marcus. Marcus. Jeffrey, that's my name. Thank you. Okay, so three names. We've done this before. Please give me please give me the every different outcome if these people were to run a race. This is one of those outcomes. I mean Jeffrey's my car, so Jeffrey. So this is one outcome, another outcome. There's Jeffrey Lamar Tebo. So J L T. Yes. J T L. J T L. Yeah. Oh no, we okay. We have that. Sorry. So <laughs> this is. I'll, I'll leave this one up. So this is J T L. Give me one more, and then we'll try someone else. Yeah. Uh, L J T. L J T. Right. Lamarcus, Jeffrey, T and Tebow. <laughs> this is an interesting group of people. Yes. J L or T L J. Could we try L first? Because we have J, J. Oh, it's then L, T, J. L, T, J. Trying to be systematic. Any more ways to have L at the beginning? No. So Lamarcus has his chance. Now he's done. More? T, J, L. T, what? J, L. And T, L, J. L, J. Any more? Yeah. yeah, one for Jeffrey. There's another one for Jeffrey. First one. Oh, 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 the first one is. Ah, yeah. oh, gotcha. Yeah, good clarification. So I see one, two, three, four, five, six. We've done this before, right? There's yep. six possible ways. Can this be solved using the counting principle? Mm -hmm. Indeed. Yeah. All right, so category number one is. First place. First place. Very good. Lamarcus. Lamarcus. Yeah. Okay. Very good. First. <laughs> second. <laughs> okay. Since you're on a roll, uh, options for first place? Three. Three people. Three. One person crosses the finish line, you guys. Options for second place? Two. Two. Two, Two people have now crossed. How many options for third? One. 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 By the counting principle, we multiply three times two times one. Six outcomes in a race. What is this arrangement called? It starts with a P. Permutation. 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 Is that on purpose? Yeah. So permutation. Permutation, indeed. That's right. It's a permutation. A permutation is arrangement in which order does matter or does not. Does. does. It does. Order does matter in a race. Now, new problem. Jeffrey, Lamarcus, and Thibault are sitting in a, in a room or a conference room. And someone bursts in and says, I need to form a committee. My committee needs to have three people. How many different committees are there? One. one. For these three people? We heard one, we heard one. one. Anyone Nine. else? One. one. Indeed, it's one. Very good. Why? Because it's the same group of people. Oh, because oh, it's not in order. Okay. It's just a committee. Very good. Yeah. Like what order Race. Committee. Committee, there would be only one. And what would be the members of that committee? Who would be the members of that Jeffrey, committee? Jeffrey, Lamarcus, Lamarcus, and Tebow. Jeffrey, Lamarcus, and Tebow. You wouldn't say like a different committee is like, oh, Tebow, Tebow Lamarcus, and Jeffrey. It's so hard to say it over and over. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's only one committee, right? An arrangement in which order does not matter is called a combination. An arrangement in which order does not matter. 
<coughs> that is what you see at the middle of your page. Okay. Who can answer the question right above that? It says, in general, all in all, which have more outcomes? Arrangement, arrangements in which order does matter? Permutations. Or an arrangement in which order does not matter? Yes. Permutation. Permutation does have more outcomes. Can you explain in your own words? Because, and you can see here, yeah. there's six different ways because... Yeah, three people, six outcomes. Yeah, because the, with the counting principle, yeah. because you can have three people in one spot to do on one spot and one on the other, so right. obviously there's more. Uh -huh. And if you're made, since order doesn't matter, just put them on the other. Yeah, it, just, it doesn't matter whether Jeffrey sits at the first seat or Thibaut sits at the first seat, right? But in a race, it does matter if Jeffrey's first or Thibaut's first. So the fact that there is order makes there more outcomes. Order creates more outcomes, right? Does that make sense? So let's do the formula for a combination. Fast forward racing. <laughs> it always looks better when it's done. Okay, so combination. Hopefully you recall the notation. N is the total options. And what does R stand for? <coughs> items. Yeah, the items uh, selected. We could say number of selections. We'll do it with examples. Do it with examples. And it's N factorial. N minus R factorial, R factorial. So let's do an example. Could we do number three, volunteer to read it? Yes, please. Happiness. Um, how many different committees of three people can be selected from each? Committees of three people out of a total of eight. Now remember, a committee of Thibaut, Jeffrey, Lamarcus is the same committee as Lamarcus, Jeffrey, Thibaut. You wouldn't count those twice. That would be the same committee. You wouldn't count those? You would not. Because then why the would you count committee. them twice in the permutation? Because, because they're, 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 they're running a race. Good question. Quest. That's exactly the question. If you're running a race, it does matter whether Thibaut comes. Because oh, they're not as a group, they're like, like single. Like yeah, yeah. Order. Order. Right. Think of order. Always think of order, right? And on the quiz tomorrow. Ask yourself. In this situation, does order matter? You say if, yeah, if yes, permutation. In this situation, if order does not matter, if not, combination. So now we're doing a committee of three people out of eight. So how many different committees are there? What would N be? The number of total number. What is that? So people or eight. Total number of people. Eight. Eight, 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 eight in this case. So that would be 8C, and uh, total number of selections, 3, three very good, <coughs> equals, we're going to do it, 8 factorial over 8 minus 3 factorial, 3 factorial. Okay, let's roll and rock this. Uh, backwards day, 8, wow. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, all over. This is 5 factorial, right? I'm going to write 5 factorial here. Okay, and then this is 3 factorial. I'm going to write 3, 2, 1, there. I switched the order for purposes of cancellation. Okay, what happens to the 5 factorial top and bottom? Yeah, they cancel out. They do cancel, very good. This is 5 factorial right here. This is 5 factorial, they cancel to 1 over 1. Now, what do you want to cancel? We can do... Three. Yeah? You see something? Three and six. Three and six. Okay, how about three, three and, and two and six? No, there's also two and eight. Three and six. We could do two and eight. Oh, no, 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 so, answer? 56. 56 indeed. Why? Because it's just 8 times 7? 8 times 7, you got it. So that would be 56. Who can uh, phrase the answer in a complete sentence? There are. That's a challenge. Okay, please. There are 56 different Good. committees of three people that can be selected for me. Perfect. Perfect. Are you going to ask us to write that down? No. Okay. No, okay. I'm going to ask for answers. But the phrasing of it really demonstrates your understanding. Okay. Now we get to an interesting one, right? We get to an interesting one. The poker hand. 
how many cards are in a poker hand? 52. 52. 52. 52. Uh, okay, 52. Not counting those. Right, now how many cards are in a hand? That's what I meant. It's five. Five. Very good. So you're selecting five cards out of a deck of 52. Now, is a poker hand a permutation or a combination? Question of the hour. Permutation. Permutation. Okay. So there's only four of one. So the order in which you draw a poker hand matters? No, 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 because no, 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 because you take out one card and the card is missing. Yeah, but it's not always in order. Yeah, it's Correct. Not there is order. No, let's, uh, let's answer this thing. If you take one, yes, there are now 51 cards in there. That's true. And but, the specific card you picked is finished. Correct. That's right. There is less of a deck when you take them. We're going to talk about that later. However, it doesn't matter if I take an ace first or fifth as long as I have it. No, so indeed it's a combination, get it? Very good, I'm glad you're, you're getting into it. So it is a combination. How many different hands exist for poker? A five card hand out of 52. Before we solve, I'd love to hear guesses. This fascinates me. Are there guesses to how many different hands there are? 35,000. What? 35,000. Do I hear more or less? Uh, 600,000. 600,000. A million. A million! Whoa. I dropped the M-bomb. 250,000. Any other guesses before we do it? Before 3, we do it? 3 million 586. 3,586,000. Okay. Let's go ahead and solve. All right, so let's do it. What is N? It's going to be like 3 million. Uh, 52. 52. C, what is R? 5. Okay, I'm going to do the setup here. I'm going to just do setup. 52 minus 5. Factorial, five factorial. Yeah. However, I think there comes a point in the road where it's time to uh, yeah. use the calculator to our advantage. On the TI calculator, there is the NCR selection, right? If you want to find it by pushing the math key. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Finding the math key. <laughs> you're I'm actually close. So three, you're wait. close. Three million. Wait, where? Oh, I am. The, push the math. Like First of all, push fifty-two. Sorry. I don't have a math key. Me okay, show her, and then I'll, I'll help you after. I'll help you after. First do 52, and then NCR, and then 5. I was so many Oh, yeah, I was. Oh, I was off by a million. Okay. Yeah, you're off by a million. I was. You're off by a couple million. I am so good at this game. It's such a scary number. I'm so Yeah, what's the number? What do you got? Uh, okay. 8.065. I think something's wrong. Yeah, he got it here. 3.7. Really? Okay, no, that's not 50. It's not 52 factorial. I want to do this function right here. Oh. Can I take your question one second? I have the answer. Okay, I'll, I'll get the answer from you. So what I want to do is type the number 52. Okay, now push the math key. And then go now to scroll the probability. DRP, yeah, and then see NCR. Scroll down to two, I think it is. Oh, NCR. Oh, oh, it's three. NCR, okay, hit enter. Yeah. Wait, we push now push five. five. Now. Yes. Five. Now hit enter. Answer in the back. Two million five hundred ninety-eight thousand nine hundred sixty. Nine hundred sixty. Yeah. Yeah. So two five nine eight nine six zero. Yep. Basically, two point six million different hands of poker in a deck of fifty-two cards. Let's do some more examples. These are good. The next few problems, you're going to ask yourself whether the situation is a permies or a combis. So, better than saying permutation and combination. Right, right. No more commies. combis. Right. Unless you still believe in that and this is an accepting environment, so if you're a communist, we accept you and love you for who you are. Yes. Yes, we are not judgmental. Volunteer read number five. Number five. Ready? Please. Okay, you can do six for us. Okay. Yeah. No, okay. Go for it. Number five. You want to sell five DVDs from your collection of twelve. How many different sets of five DVDs can you sell? Obviously, we're selling DVDs. We don't really need those anymore. Nope. It's all online. Or Blu-ray. Yeah, Netflix. I mean, this is a combination. <laughs> you yeah. like taking it all. <laughs> okay. So yes, yeah, we are. We're selling groups of five DVDs. Now, does it matter if I sell, you know, Finding Nemo first yes. or no. fourth? Yes. No. 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 So it's, it's a combination. Yeah. It's still in the set of five. If I sell it first or fourth in my group of five, it's still I love a combination. Finding Nemo. I know. It's I like how you go So what? C what? 
12. 12 C5. And 12 C5 in the calculator is? 792. 792. At this point, we can just rush into the calculator, just plug in those points. You push the number 12. Is that enough work? Yeah, that's. I, Wait, how do you do that? I'll help you with your 89. I found it. Okay, so 12 first, then NCR, then 5. Oh, I did it. Good. Wait, 12? You said. 12. Okay. Then, and your calculator NCR, then the number 5. Okay? So let's try number six. Go for it. Some grocery shoppers at particular are at, at particular about arranging their items at checkout. Yep. How many different re receipts could a shopper create with ten items? Right. So some shoppers are particular about the items. Like they want certain things first, certain things last. As a former cashier, it's a true story. Yeah. People do that. It's like a, they want certain things first on the receipt. They group in different ways. How many different ways can I group 10 items? Permies no. or combis? Permies. No, because it's 10. Permies. That's right. It is permies. Does order matter on the receipt? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if we wanted to do it using the formula, it would be what P wants. 10 is the total number of choices. 10P. And how many selections are we making? 10. 10. 10P10. 10. 10P10. 10 Out of 10 items, we are making 10 selections. Can I just put this on the calculator? NPR. You didn't know that? NPR. 3. Is it a really big number? Yes. 3,620,800. 3, 628,800. 800. 800. This is actually, uh, if I can just show you the property of a uh, zero factorial. 10 P10, yeah, zero factorial is one. Zero factorial is uh, one. Yes? How do you know if it's like, I don't know if this is like a stupid question, but how do you know the difference between C and P? Exactly. Who can answer a question? Please. Oh. Um, a permutation is when the order matters and a combination is when the But like in, in the question, like how would you have to read so the question. Like it's in, it's embedded in the question. By arranging the items, is that it? Yes, it's like the order matters of the receipt, right? Uh, it matters to me whether eggs are first or fifth. Yeah. So yeah. that order does matter. Okay. okay. Back to you. Could you read uh, number seven for us? And then we'll take a minute, pause and see whether number seven is a permutation or combination. Go for it. Seven passengers are waiting to fly standby. The airline has room for only five of them. How many different groups of passengers can board the flight? Right. Seven passengers are waiting. Five can get on the plane. Imagine you're one of those people. You're one of, the, one of those seven people that want to get on the plane. And we need different groups of five people so it's a combination. to get on the plane. So uh, raise your hand if you think combination. Raise your hand if you think permutation. Okay. Permutation. All right. It is a combination. Here's why. Okay. okay. Lesson learned. Don't just don't just follow the crowd. Who can explain their own words? Why it's a, you've been doing great. Let me mix it up, please. Yeah. Why is it a permutation? Why is it a combination? Uh, well, it says it, instead of saying they all they need all seven, and it says they only need five. So right. Technically, it's not like they they permutation is. You need it like um, in order. Yeah. So you're going out of order when you only need five, technically. What if what if those seven people were running a race and I said I don't need five finishers? That would be choosing five out of seven in which order did matter. But what about this particular problem about waiting to get on a plane and needing groups of five makes this a combination? It doesn't matter which order five people are in. So let's say you're waiting to get on this plane. Aren't you, if you are first on the plane out of the five, or second, it doesn't really matter. You're in that group of five. You're in that group of five. Technically speaking, if they said like, um, your name is? Whitney. What's your name? Whitney. Bob Smith. Bob Smith, <laughs> okay. So it's like, blank, blank, Bob Smith, blank, blank. You're like, yes. Or like blank, Bob Smith, blank, blank, blank. Oh. You're still on the plane. It didn't matter whether you're second or third. Oh, so it's how they call it, like, same, like, same.
know your name? No, it's, no, just, it's a group. It's, the, it's a group. It's, it's the not... fact that the order didn't matter. Oh, okay. Whereas if you're running a race, it would matter if you're second or third. Okay, got it. So what C what? Seven. Five. Yes, go ahead. Seven C five. Seven C five. Answer. Twenty one. Twenty one different groups. Twenty one different groups. Okay. Uh, let's do number eight. It's our last question. Very very good. Volunteer to read. Try it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. When I get home, suppose I have six shows recorded. I like to watch three of them. If my lineup didn't matter to me, how many arrangements of shows do I have? So it's six C three. So, if my lineup did not matter, right? Is that what it said? Yeah. Okay, is that a permutation or combination? Combination. Combination. 6C3. Oops. 6C3. 20. 20. And now, before we do the permutation problem, will it be more or less than 20? More. 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 How'd you know so fast? Because that's uh, just the pattern. Permutations have been bigger. Permutations have been bigger. Why? Because I think it's... Like it, it's determined based off like one thing, not like a bunch of things, like a bit, like one a bunch what of thing. thing. What's the thing that matters? What's the order. The order. Name a show you like. Oh. Gossip Girl. Gossip Girl. Okay. It's okay. You're not alone. I know. <laughs> right. So, if you are doing a lineup in which order did matter, Gossip Girl would matter whether it's first or third. Gossip Girl always be. Gossip Girl shall always be first. Fair enough, I accept. Pretty little life. However, if the order did not matter, you would just be happy if it was in that group of three. Right. That's the whole point of today's class. And what is 6P3? Hopefully more than 20? 120. 120. Look at that. 6 times as many. 6 Wait, times as many. So you would just do 6 times? No, no. This is its own calculation. This is, oh, oh, oh. I have six shows, I want to watch three of them, order does yeah. not matter. This is, I have six shows, I want to watch three of them, order does matter. I think this problem demonstrates the difference very well. Okay. So, um, one more time for the class. Yay, surgery! Yay! Do you want to hold it up? No, just hold it up. No, it's alright. Oh, you, you guys look at it. We don't have to, we don't have to hold it up. Thank you. Welcome back to class. <laughs> okay, so. You can look at the incisions. Okay, so we're going to ask you to applause and then we're going to call it close. Yeah. Ah!